Hi everybody, it's Pastor Chrissy, and it's Wednesday, and I'm here bringing you a psalm in the woods. Today I'm actually right next to one of my apple trees. Look, I have a baby apple. I'm very excited about it. The psalm I'm reading today is Psalm number 25, a prayer for guidance and for deliverance. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let my enemies exult over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, of your steadfast love, for they have been from old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, God instructs sinners in the way. God leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble God's way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast, love and faithfulness. For those who keep God's covenant and God's decrees. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who are they that they fear the Lord? God will teach them the way that they should choose. They will abide in prosperity and their children shall possess the land. The friendship of the Lord is, though, is for those who fear God, and God makes God's covenant known to them. My eyes are ever towards the Lord, for God will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distress. Consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes and with what violent hatred they hate me. O oh, guard my life and deliver me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O oh God, out of all its troubles. This is one of those psalms that sounds like it could be from a person or from a whole country, especially with that last part, redeem Israel out of all of her troubles. Um, maybe the problems that are in your heart right now are the ones that are just in your own private life as a person. Maybe the problems that are on your heart and mind are the ones for this whole country. I pray that we can um, find some bit of ourselves in this psalm where we express a confidence that God will be with us, that God can show us the right way and will show us the right way, while also hearing the reminder that treachery is not of God. May we not be treacherous. May we, we not be the ones that this psalm says should be shamed. God calls us to great righteousness and great kindness and great faithfulness and justice. I hope you're doing okay. It's been a rough couple weeks for our church in particular and also for the world. If you need anything, please let me know. Uh, you can leave a comment on this and I keep an eye on those or you can email me at the church. Hope you're doing all right. We'll see you soon, at least on the internet, or we'll talk to you on the phone. Have a good night.